know why I left, Sebastian. Why then? What? You want your old job back? Excellent. Take it. It's yours. We can unite the old team. There's a fortune to be made out there, Charles, and God knows none of your replacements have been half as good. No, it's not that either. Why is it then? It's Isabel. I've come back for her. I can't shake her off. God knows I've tried. I still love her, Sebastian. If I didn't know it then, I certainly know it now. I know I walked out on her, and I know I've got to work hard to get her back again, but the truth is, I want to try again. If only I could find her, she must have moved, which is why I've come. Got my two closest friends in the world. I thought the two of you might have kept in touch. What's the matter? Yeah, we did. I don't know how to put this. Except when you left, and when you just walked out on Isabel like that, it devastated her. What? Actually, actually both of us. No, I don't, I don't know, maybe we sought consolation from each other, I suppose, and one thing led to another. What are you saying? I'm saying that Isabel and I are seeing each other now. Charles, we have been for some time. In fact, we're engaged. Oh, this is good. Red lips, not so red as the stained stones kissed by the English dead. It's absolutely perfect. And, um, this one, uh, Dead youth. I thought Anthem. This one? Hmm. Anthem for de de dead youth. We'll work at it, then bring it back and we'll have a go at it together. Is it traumatic for you? No. Writing is like exorcism. Well, if you ever get back to the front, at least it'll be good for your poetry. Yes. Yes, it would. Sergeant Harry Freeman, radio operator with the 553. If you're a competent German linguist, you should have reported it. Why didn't you? My grandparents are German. My old man thought it was important for me to grow up with a second language. You were transferred here from the Stalagluft at Henslau, right? Yeah, that's right. They were building a rail track through the site, so we were all relocated. And you were the only one sent here? I think I'm a typing error. I didn't want anyone to know. At my last camp, the Commandant thought I might be a spy. Why? I lost my ID tag when I was shot down. Stupid ass thought that was suspicious. He's bound to have passed on his nose to Driver. You could still have come to I'd me. I'd rather keep my head down, sir. I'd rather be walking the dogs on Beachy Head. I suppose we'll both have to make do. Do you think they'll wait for you to do that? When I was on the run in Germany, I saw how the Jews are treated. The way Rumsfeld looked at me. No anger. No hatred. Nothing. I was nothing to him. I was in a mental hospital. A mental hospital? I had a sort of breakdown after my parents died. They were killed in a car smash. I, but I'm fine now. I, I just get the occasional splitting headaches. So don't worry. What did you study? Chemistry. But I, I got this thing about trying to capture sense in Provence. How do you mean? Actually bottle the smell rather than just make perfume. Orange jasmine, orange blossom, and then impregnate other things with that smell. So you could have, I don't know, scented jackets, bags, belts. God, you really were mad, weren't you? <laughs> well, I've got to get back to the studio. I've got a big shoot lined up this evening. It must be ever so exciting being a photographer, Ben. Carolyn, strip away the glamour, the prestige, and the obscene amounts of money they pay me in. It's just like any other. Who am I kidding? It's a blast. <laughs> How so? My parents, the Count and Countess de Martignac, are held prisoner in the concierge. Their trial is imminent. Such things are not in my gift. They are notorious rebels. They are good-hearted people, monsieur. Federalists and true Democrats. <laughs> After the revolution, they freely divested themselves of much of their lands and wealth. You have your government's ear. 
You are ambitious. If my parents were publicly to embrace the Republic, it would be powerful propaganda for Monsieur Robespierre. But such principled people embrace their enemies so readily. To be reunited with their daughter, they would do almost anything. I will see what I can do. Where might I contact you? I have rooms in Lincoln's Inn. What the devil are you doing? Out there, where the sun sets, lies Spain. And beyond, the Africas. One day, people will holiday there. And one company will do more than you could imagine to ensure their customers every happiness. And what is this one company of which you speak, sir? Thompson Holiday. Oh, this is all goose of nonsense, Fanny. Nevertheless, Damersham, you've had little luck in marrying Fanny off. She can dance, she has some musical talent. Do call on us. Come, Fanny.